Hey YouTube, so today's episode is dedicated to the doodle. We are doodling it today uh, uh, uh. and it's important that we doodle it with a doodle. So we have invited a very special guest. She's here to talk what doodles do really. Yep. She's doing a bit of doodling and she's enjoying doodling and she really is a game changer doodle. Absolutely. And so we've got some tips of what we see as being, you know, they're, they're very, very popular to have, you know, any combination of doodles. And what we mean by that is that it's, it's one breed paired with a poodle. And so we've got a Labradoodle for you because we thought they're one of the most common. And No, um, no, no, no. They're one of the most beautiful. Yeah. Most beautiful. Of course. Most common and <laughs> don't beautiful. Don't common. Oh, don't frequent, listen to frequent, him. Frequently don't beautiful. Listen to him. They are frequently seen and frequently beautiful. Very and so, popular. Very popular. <laughs> popular. There we go. <laughs> um, and so, uh, you know, we wanted it, to River. talk about, you know, what would be, what are your considerations as um, an beautiful. owner that beautiful. you need to consider in working with them? And I think first thing to say is being aware of what you've got. So you've got to be aware of what um, what the breeds are that are in there. And for example, example, a Labrador and a Poodle, well, they have certain kind of breed characteristics that you might get a bit of both. You might get everything. You might get one more than the other. But being aware is key. Now, I think I would say one of my top tips for mm -hmm. a dog like River uh, would be variety. Yeah. Having lots and lots and lots of variety in her training 100%. sessions. 100%. That might be through the food that I'm delivering. It might be through the strategy that I'm using. It might be through the game that I choose to play. It might be through to actually ditching the routine and having yeah. a very varied lifestyle. With a Labradoodle, if I had a Labradoodle, I would certainly make sure that variety featured up high yeah. on my doodling agenda. Yeah, absolutely. Second tip is that we've got to be aware that you know there might be something something else in there, right? So it might be that I don't know you've got a cockapoo, and so cocker spaniel's been bred for many generations to enjoy scent, to enjoy movement, to get very stimulated by the environment and engage with the environment. Labradors. Similarly, on the flip side of that, you might have I don't know a Jack Russell cross. Poodle, in which case we have a murderer in sheep's clothing. Oh my goodness! <laughs> and so you've got to be aware of actually what maybe those natural tendencies that we're not saying that they're, they're problems, they're opportunities. Actually, we can utilize movement, we can utilize um, the things that have been bred within them to that they should find stimulating. We can use that to stimulate them about food or toys. Now, I would say the next thing, uh, doodling in my mm. brain, the next doodle I would have is is using every ounce of reinforcement that you've yeah. got uh, an opportunity to use. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say that obviously the Labradoodle does have the stomach of the Labrador, mm -hmm. uh, usually or quite frequently, and I think that's important, but yeah. using every bit of food to your yeah. advantage. So ditching the bowl to play all of your games. And I would say absolutely making sure that you utilize what part of that breed that you need to within that food choice yeah. and within that food game choice. So here we have River. River is actually very scent driven. So she really is very scent driven. I don't know whether the Labrador or the Poodle decided to dictate that. No, Maybe both. but you know what? She definitely is very <laughs> scent driven. She's also very, very hungry. She loves her food. Doesn't matter how much food she has. She really, really enjoys her food. And so I would say rather than maybe a uh, worst game that I could play with her, sorry, River, I'm going to show it very quickly. Worst game, get it, get it, yeah. is that one. So Putting I wouldn't play on the a level of scatter feeding for her would not be where I put my food. Because you can see that she kind of can get a bit good, good super. Yeah, like she doesn't she get a bit lost much, in it, can't you know, she? The value is there already. We don't need to put any more on the floor. If anything, we probably need to put it more. And actually, her head being off the floor so or games her like being these, on a boundary. Where we get to aeroplane a bit. Yeah. We wow. Mm, nice. Or maybe a little bit of, I don't know if you want to take this one, but that was a chewy one. Mm -hmm. That was a very chewy one, wasn't it? Middle. Yeah, you're a good girl. So for her, doing games like this, where actually <laughs> she's got very good, nice, oh. super girl. She's got very good movement here and the head's off the ground and she's able to really, nice dog, super job, super job. Really stay maintaining focus quite easily because actually that nose just doesn't need to get involved <laughs> so at this stage. She's the cutest, fluffy, little. She wants to be taken fluffy, seriously, but little, I just can't. You can't when you look like that, can you? <laughs> Ready? Super. 
So uh, the other tip that we've um, that we've got for you is, and it's something that we talk about, especially with poodles, but um, a lot of breeds have this, is they know what a good deal and a bad deal is. And trying to force a poodle or a poodle cross to do anything will never end well because they will tell you where to go and they'll say, you know what? You, you do you human, I'm doing me over here. And so instead, what we've got to think about is working with them, about it being a conversation, about really spelling out to River where the good deal is. And the good deal has got to be with us. Next one for me, another doodle tip, would actually be making uh, that sort of coat care and grooming and husbandry part of your daily yeah. ritual and life because at the end of the day when you've got a dog like river here who's got coat you need to make um grooming uh, part of what you do because ultimately uh, you're going to need to do more of it than you would say with yeah. a very smooth coated dog yeah. like a greyhound a whippet um, a smooth border collie or or something similar so knowing that actually husbandry would just be part of her daily um, sort of food intake yeah. whether that be brushes clippers and um, nail clippers or handling or yeah. general handling it's just something that you do a bit more of or you condition a bit more of or maybe it's, it's optimism yeah. you work on optimism youtubers you absolutely know someone else with a doodle right now i bet you do or someone else with a dog like river if you haven't already shared this we want you to share it we with We want friends. you to share it. And we also want you to realize, and we want to really spell out to you that we have hundreds of thousands of doodle owners all over the world that are seeing amazing results with games, just Playing like games. River and her owner, right? And so what we want you to do is explore the YouTube channel, play games. If somebody says to you that you, that you need to force your doodle to do something, think they clearly do not know I think know you doodles. tell them, doodle off. <laughs> and when they doodle off, then you can carry on playing your games. Yeah. Now, the cool thing uh, with doodles and doodle owners is you normally know someone else with a doodle yeah. because actually it's kind of a bit of a fa They're fan clubs. Yes, yeah. River says yes, they are. Uh, and so because you're going to know someone else with a doodle, make sure that they get to know about this because these guys are kind dogs. They're mm. super nice dogs. They're yeah. super happy dogs. They're sweet dogs. They genuinely want to please you. And they should never, ever be forced or deprived anything. Neither should any dog. You know no. what? These guys, though, they really are salt of the earth. They are the good, good, good good eggs. And, and so for me, I absolutely want to make sure that you go out there and make sure other doodle owners know about this because, yeah, River, River says they must, don't yeah. you? They so must. Hit subscribe, hit share, let us know what kind of doodle you've got below this video and we will see you next week. Remember, Game Changers, whatever the dog owning struggle, there's a game for that. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe to our channel. And check out our new 25-day online dog training challenge. Watch the videos, play the games, transform your dog owning struggles. As a loyal YouTube subscriber, you can get a 70% discount through the link in the description below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the number one most transformational dog training podcast on iTunes and Spotify, the Sexier Than a Squirrel podcast. And remember to follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more live teaching, video content, and free training using the links in the description. Yeah. <laughs>